So this video is for an unboxing of my new Mavic Pro. I just got this from the Apple Store. They uh, don't stock them yet at mine, but they had an extra that they put aside for me because they know I wanted one. Um, so I'm going to open that up, but I'm also going to be talking about um, my plans for travel vlogging and stuff in this video because I think it's going to be help me to kind of sort through what I want to be doing. Okay, let's open this up. So here we go. See the box here? It looks pretty sweet. It's tiny also, comparatively to what I thought it would be. And this is what we've got. We've got the Mavic here, the controller, and then some accessories like the cords for charging and whatnot. So first off, this is it. That's sweet. Let's not break this uh, right away. That would be pretty bad. There you go. We're missing the propellers here, but they're in here. Um, so that's it opened up a little bit. Unfold the rear arms downwards. Well, I should have read that, but I'm not much for directions. Okay, let's put that down. And that's cool how it sits there. Nice. Kind of looks like a um, frog. Anyway, here's the controller. Um, it looks like this when it comes in the box. But uh, you just open it up like this and you fit your phone in there. And then these are the supposedly swinging open um, uh, antennas. But I can't figure out how this opens. Let's see if it has directions. Let's look for directions, actually. That's a great idea. So, are you kidding me? There's not directions? Oh, here we go. So when you get this, don't freak out. There's everything in there. It's just hidden. What a weird charging thing. Okay, let's see. We've got a little folder here, kind of like a gum package um, that we're going to slide open. Okay, quick start guide. Check the battery levels. Let's check that. If I turn on the pack, oh, we've got a green light. It's usually good, but I feel like my face might get slashed by one of these propellers. It's working. That's cool. Oh, lights are on. No. Ah, it's starting. It's doing that cool thing that it did in the video. That's so cool. It's like an airplane. It has like actual lights. That's sick. That's crazy. A little mask. And then this thing pops off, I believe. I definitely don't want to do anything like that. Look at that. The gimbal there. Okay, we're back several, probably like an hour and a half later. Um, I've been letting this thing charge, um, the battery and the remote, um, and now it's like updating the firmware, and then there's another update it had to do. Um, so I will say the initial startup of this is not as quick and easy as they made it seem on a lot of other videos. It actually is taking quite a while for me, so I just am now in the waiting process. We're at 10%. So I suppose I'll take this opportunity while I've been reading the manual in depth and um, waiting for this thing to load. Uh, it's at 68% and I was thinking I'd take this opportunity to talk about what I want to do with the drone and why I got it. So this weekend I was in Miami. Um, I thought I hated Miami, honestly. I went there for a cruise once, which I didn't really love. Uh, the cruise vibe, it's not really traveling, I didn't feel like. It was like vacationing, which was fine, but um, not really for me. And so I went to Miami just on a whim for my birthday last week, um, my 24th. And I thought, I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I was like, I'll just go to the beach. It's a cheap flight. Uh, it's easy to get there from Connecticut where I'm from. So I went and I stayed at a hostel that's like very fancy, like uh, very nice and clean. I mean, as far as hostels go. Um, and I was just on the beach and I uh, walked up and sat by the ocean and I met this, or there was a girl there, a woman from um, LA. And she's a TV producer out there, uh, and she, I found this out by saying, oh, that's a cool like, camera you got, and I have um, the same Rode mic that she has. Um, and I asked her about hers and said, like, oh, what kind of video are you shooting? And she's like, yeah, I'm actually a travel vlogger. And I was like, well, there's another sign, if there ever was one. And so she and I got to talking, and we talked about how she um, does, like, these cool, highly produced sort of travel videos that um, she has kind of a following for and I found her on YouTube and stuff. Anyway, we got to talking and we talked about the Mavic Pro and how that was something she wanted to get too and she had flown in, it was super easy. And I'd heard about it, I'd been looking into getting it already anyway. And so that kind of was the final thing that said like, you should do it. Um, so I got this now, obviously. Um, and I'm excited because um, this trip to Miami kind of showed me that I really love traveling, putting myself in new uh, situations where I'm not really comfortable necessarily. 
it's as if my life here in Connecticut has been just kind of like safe and comfortable. It's very nice, like I'm not complaining. Um, but I just feel like I haven't been pushing myself at all to be, to grow as a person as I did in college or as I did like growing up so much. There's so much change and now I feel like I'm kind of like stagnant in terms of that growth and I really don't want to be. I want to be trying to push myself more. So the idea is that I'm going to uh, travel and start vlogging about it and also uh, doing travel photography because I'll bring my camera gear with me. Anyway, so I hope you all will follow along with this. Um, I don't even know where I'm going to put this video yet. I haven't thought of a name, I haven't thought of anything um, other than the fact that I knew that if I got this drone I would have to use it um, for uh, travel vlogging. Okay, let's take a look at this camera. Okay, sweet. Yeah, it is working. I gotta calibrate it, but if you could see on here, you should get to be able to see, you could see my hand in the uh, camera from the gimbal there. Let me see if I look normal in the light. I look green. I look green. I hope this video is helping someone because I just feel like an idiot. Well, who cares? Let's just go see about this. I'm gonna go test it. I'm gonna try to put the footage later with this, um, and we'll see. So overall I felt like it flew really well, it was really easy to fly, um, it took a little getting used to do it smoothly, but um, as you can see it's a little jolty, but um, overall it was just incredibly simple once I figured out how to take off. Um, as you can see here I tried to like do some kind of panning up towards this and then, uh, then I tilted the camera completely downward. Uh, for the next shot to try to capture like straight down and moving, uh, panning slowly. Uh, and I think that's an awesome effect. Like you can use that in woods to get the trees from above. I've seen a lot of other vloggers and Instagram people, photographers, who um, use drones to get that straight down look. And they actually, some uh, Instagram photographers I've seen who just do that kind of downward look thing. Anyway, I think it's really cool. Um, and overall, I feel like this thing was easy to fly, fun to fly, and I can't wait to get more comfortable with the settings and uh, try some of the preset settings and tracking things. Um, other than that, I think I need to work on editing a little bit, um, but uh, this is just a rough edit of it um, so that you all could get an idea of what it looks like. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll keep updating with more videos to come.